<laughs> I bet you they're like roasts and There's a microphone in there. <laughs> Gross man. Oh, God, said that. What did he say? Well, let's give it up for uh, Mike and Dirty and all the teachers that participated. That was impressive. Let me see. I'm not that young. Okay. All right, so we're going to play another game. So we're going to need four people to come up here. One, it's all gingers. Michaela yeah. Odenberg. Gingers. Awesome Ginger. Yes! Red Hat Jenna! 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 Where's Jenna? Too much red to handle. <laughs> they are all gingers. <laughs> no souls. <laughs> no souls. <laughs> okay. Well, me and Tom, we're looking on the uh, internet, so we know all of these facts are true because the internet doesn't lie. So we looked on the internet for the top two facts about gingers in the world that we can find. Our number one top fact is, is that Scotland has the highest percentage of gingers with 13% redheads in that country. <laughs> Poor Our Scotland. second fact, this one is probably even more true, probably more true, is that if you take a lock of ginger hair, and you sprinkle it with dew and put it in the moonlight, it turns into pure gold. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a useful fact for all of you. If you guys are ever going to take a bite, just snip a little bit off. Autumn sister, she should cut your hair off. <laughs> yes. And the internet doesn't lie, so it's gotta be true. Alright, well, we have a quiz for you four gingers up here. <laughs> Uh, well, you know yourself. We want to know what percentage of the world is actually redheaded. What percentage? Think fast. <laughs> <laughs> if the highest is 13. 25% of the world. Really? 5%? What, okay, what is your final answer? <laughs> Just do that. Wow. 
Great job, Jenna. That is very impressive with your great natural <laughs> <laughs> so, we have our last quizzes for the day, and Dalton, crap, okay, I got it, we want to know how well you know people here at Unity, teachers and students. Our first question will be, what junior boy is most likely to run up to you, <laughs> hug you, God. grab you, we're gonna need hands, and then either run away or run to the person next to you and do the exact same thing? We're gonna need a Jordan. Jordan raised his hand first. Jordan Emerson, what is your answer? Dalton DeHaan is correct. <laughs> Very good. Because you answered correctly, you get a sucker. So there you go. <laughs> Our next one is a teacher of ours. We all love him. What teacher is Callum walking like right now? <laughs> Jake Flom, I saw a hand. And if not, Matt Albert. Mr. Fulkerts. Mr. Fulkerts is correct. <laughs> you may also have a Alright. Our third question would be what teacher is most likely to be found measuring things <laughs> in his classroom? I saw a hand back there. I think it was avoiding. Yeah. I think it was you. Was that Mr. Cow? That's correct. You can have a sucker. Cow gets <laughs> raising. Why don't you come on up and get a sucker, actually? Why don't you come on up? I think it's hoarding. Here you go. Congratulations. Mr. Cow, thank you for Because he knows it's Alright, our next question. What senior boy would be most likely to answer your question by asking you a question? <laughs> I see Bimers. Okay, Bimers. Mally. Ma I don't know Mally. Incorrect. <laughs> Matt Albert is correct. Malware! Matt, you know it's true. <laughs> Raining suckers. Thanks, Lincoln. By asking a okay. question. Our <laughs> next question would be yes. what teacher? Specifically likes playing piano while eating chef salad. <laughs> I think I saw a pen piper. I think I did. Uh, Mr. Collins. <laughs> Be more Atlantic! Less Pacific. <laughs> nice catch. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. He's just back there filming. And our too. last question. Oh, I'm sweating. Buddy. Josh, I'm going to remove you from this question because you're in this question. <laughs> What teacher would be Josh Shank's favorite teacher of all time? <gasps> Matt Grossman, do you have the answer already? It would be. It will be Tim Cam. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? That will end our final quiz for the day. Congratulations to all of you who get those Tootsie Pops. They're pretty good. <laughs> Where did Colin go? Now, as you notice, Colin left. Because Colin is our next contestant up. Colin has his own act. Let's give it up for Colin. That's Colin? That was fast. I got it. Look, I got it. Robby, just go. Let's give it up for Colin. Four. That's impressive. All right. Well, we're sorry about the time constraints here. Yeah. We have one more award to give here. I think we all know what's coming here. Um, this person has drawn a lot of attention this year at oh, basketball so. games, <laughs> creating his own chance even. <laughs> so <laughs> our best nickname of the award goes to Heath Wink with oh. he. For your great nickname, we give you a velvet coloring paint. 
That concludes the show for today. You guys can all go home.